Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you a reading in regards to messages that your person needs to learn. This is going to be for the zodiac sign of Leo for the month of December, year 2021. If you are new to my channel, welcome and blessings always. Come on in. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much happiness, peace, luck, love, joy, abundance, all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome back. You guys know how much I adore, love, and appreciate you wonderful Leos. You guys always make me happy. I appreciate all of you guys from the top, bottom, and middle, all sides of my heart. You guys are amazing. If you are a cross watcher, please do come in as well. I'm sending you prayers and blessings to you and to all of us, okay? Please remember that when it comes to tarot, oracle cards, messages, reading, it's all about the messages is all about the energy, okay? Focus on that, but always go to God, your spiritual team, and definitely listen to your intuition, which connects you to God and your spiritual team, okay? Always, if you guys like this reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys keep my channel going and growing. I do read the comments, and you guys are very sweet, very real, very honest. You guys give a lot of love and support, and I appreciate that. If you're feeling extra generous today and you would like to donate, I do have PayPal, and I also have a P.O. Box if you guys... Look in the description box below. Um, you'll find that information. And then also, you know, you guys can reach out to me if you guys have like general questions. And I do read them through my emails, which is listed. My emails are listed. Okay. Let's jump into this reading, Leo. So the first part of this reading, I'm going to give you messages in regards to lessons that your person needs to learn. And then I will finish up the reading with another deck, both decks I've made, and I'll finish it off with another deck with affirmations, self-love, self-care, whatever comes out. That's like a mixed deck. Okay. And those messages will be for you. All right. So let's jump in. Please spirit come through as you always do. Of course, everything's been prayed and meditated on. And like I said, I've made all these messages. So I'm excited to see what comes out for you, Leos. And you guys are the first um, Zodiac that I've done in a long time. So thank you guys for always riding with me. Let's see what spirit has for you. Please spirit come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Leo. Leo for the month of December, year 2021. What are the messages Leo's person needs to know? And this could be like a family member, a friend, somebody who wronged you, people who are really struggling, people who have left you behind, ghosted you, an ex, um, twin flame, soulmate, anything like that. So let's see what's going on. All right, let's get some messages. I'm aiming for 10 or 11, but I don't know. We'll see. Whatever comes out for Leo. What does their person need to know? Wow. I'm taking on wood jumps and flips. They're flipping all over the place. So let me just organize them a little bit here. You guys give me a second. Let's see. Wow. They're flipping. A few more spirit. Okay. I think I have enough. And one flipped on the floor. I'm going to pick it up. Hold on for one second. Okay, I think this is close to enough. It's about enough. Let's see. I'm going to take one more. I'll take one more. One more spirit. One more. Okay, there it is. It flew. Okay. The bottom of the deck, you guys have control issues. And you guys know the bottom is like the overall energy. So this person was very controlling. They use a lot of gaslighting and like mind manipulation they made you feel like nothing you did was enough nothing you did was right you probably questioned yourselves a lot leo because this person failed to take accountability okay uh, for what they've done some of you guys are old apologies and i'm not talking about these little fake little blanket apologies or these fake apologies where you know they're saying sorry but they're not saying what they're sorry for it's very quick you don't fully feel that you've been given the apology you deserve and some people you haven't even got it at all you know some of you are not even waiting for this you don't even expect it because you know this person's very immature but they like to control the situation they like for people to believe that they are this good upstanding person when they're not and it's not because they're pure evil is what i'm getting i, I believe they showed you something good in them you saw not just potential but you saw something good in their heart so I always tell people this, we all come from God. So there's good in all of us is what we choose to be. Okay. We get to choose what type of people we want to be. This person didn't grow. Okay. And they definitely had a lot of issues with communication. It says communicate and address issues. 
they didn't address problems. The way they address problems, they turned out. A lot of them turned to addictions, alcohol. I'm saying they turned to a lot of third parties. Um, oh my goodness. I just heard hidden pregnancies. I heard, um, they blamed you for things or you saw the cruel side of them when things got tough or when you were in a bind or situation, this person, sometimes they had your back. A lot of times they didn't. It's like they didn't ride hard enough for you. They didn't have your back. They didn't come through like they should have. This person just failed to step up is what I'm hearing. And they made a lot of excuses, okay? Your person always had an excuse why they couldn't give you enough, why they couldn't give you enough affection, why they couldn't give you enough care. And their reasons were pitiful, just unsatisfactory. It's like the audacity for this person to even smile in your face and ask you, for sex or money, help, anything. It's like they did enough to breadcrumb you. But it's like spirit had to show you who this person really was. And they're a snake. And that's because they chose to be. Because you were sent in this person's life to be a blessing. Now all you see them as is a lesson. You're the blessing. You're still the blessing. You are a blessing to everybody in your life. You're a blessing to strangers, Leos. People love you. You have a huge heart. You're very generous. You love for real. Everybody can't just get your attention. This person may have been really blind to how special you are. They know, you, they know you're special, but you leaving this person behind or them ghosting you being apart, they really see you shine in your courage and strength. This is when Leo shine the best, when we're pushed to the brink. You were pushed away. You weren't given the shine and the love from this person that you deserve. They made too many excuses. Always an excuse. Petty excuses. Limited communication. Limited mind thinking. Outdated ways. Outdated thinking. This person struggled with communication heavily. Some of you took this person to get help or you offered it. You recommended it. They turned it down. They always made an excuse why they couldn't complete something. They may have really loved material things, but nothing truly satisfies this person. They did a lot of love bombing. They told you you were beautiful and you are. That's the truth. They told you you were gorgeous and they love this about you and they do. But they said these things to caress you, you know, mentally. It's like they played on your heart. They played on your emotions. They even done some things to show that they love you or they showed other people that they love you because they wanted a certain type of image or persona. But it's like they overdid it. For some of you, they didn't compliment you enough. They didn't know when you changed your hair. They were days late or a week. It's like you didn't, a lot of you didn't get the compliments you deserve or for the rest of you, you got too many. Somebody maybe was overly sexualized. Your person needs to turn lessons into blessings. They really do. They haven't learned that you, they know you're a blessing, but they have a lot of lessons they haven't learned. So they don't get to share in your blessings. They don't get to share in the love of you anymore. And no matter who they moved on to, they feel the difference. Nobody will ever compare to you. You're a Leo. Not just a Leo, but a good soul, a good hearted person. Nothing, nobody can touch that. Everything after you is a downgrade. And let me tell you this. I'm hearing their family and their friends, they know it. They miss you. Their family and friends, they miss you. Because you prayed over this person. You love this person for real. The care, the sincerity, the time, the energy, the love and light you put into this person, you didn't just put it into them. You put it into their family. It's in every move you make. With your children, with the people around you, your mother, your father, even the people in heaven, they see how you honor them. Even your loved ones in heaven, they know how you honor them to this very day. They see the flowers how you mention them, the memories, how you commemorate and celebrate their lives, the prayers you still send to them. You're a blessing to the bloodline. 
your lineage is proud of you. Your person has a lot of lessons. Now you've opened the door to your blessings. You're abundant. This person turned lessons into more lessons. They always think that they can get things done with money. They don't know balance. They don't know when to use their heart. You taught them a lot of things, but they chose not to elevate and grow, especially spiritually. Your person had a hard time facing the truth. Everything you told them was the truth. They don't face the truth about themselves. They don't want to hear it. They don't fully receive it. You gave them great recommendations, excellent advice. This person don't look in the mirror like they're supposed to. You were their mirror. And this is why they pushed you away, ghosted you, gaslighted you, manipulated you, lied to you. Instead of learning from you, and they've learned a lot, but there was a lot more they were supposed to take on and take in. They didn't soak it in like they were supposed to. God sent you as a blessing so that they can be more spiritual, so that they can be happier, more healed. This person wasn't ready to heal because they were very selfish. A lot of them were very arrogant and into their ego. It goes back to those control issues. Yeah, they bought you some things. Yeah, they did some things for you. They made it look good. The things you cared about the most were the core values, the beliefs, spirituality, religious factors, building, prospering. This person was very selfish when it came to the core things. I feel like they just don't know themselves and that they don't want to face the things that they need to change, their bad habits. They may have made you feel like you were too clingy when you just wanted more hugs, more kisses, more affection, more of their time. But I'm hearing that they were too clingy with your energy. They loved that you gave and gave and gave. Even when they turned you away, they loved feeling like you're never going anywhere because you're so focused on them. This is in their mind. They're thinking, you're so focused on me. You're not going anywhere. He ain't going nowhere. She's going nowhere. I can do whatever I want. She'll cry and fight even harder for me because a lot of you, that's what you did. And it doesn't make you wrong. It makes you loving. It makes you a fighter. It makes you a real one. But you had to learn when to stop fighting for somebody who wasn't fighting for you. And your love. A lot of you had to learn you were fighting alone. And that was just cold hearted. This person thought they had control of the situation. They thought they had control of the relationship. They thought they had control of you until you guys started doing cord cutting. You got way more spiritual. Some of you got into tarot. You were led down a whole new spiritual path. You start seeing 1111 or other synchronicities of numbers, visions, dreams. Your spiritual gifts started to awaken. And you started to distance yourself from this person. They may have ghosted you. But spiritually and emotionally and physically, you left them. Some of you checked out before they announced it. For the ones who did announce it. And it was very petty and immature how they moved. This person needed to be more of an open book. They struggle with telling you the truth because their truth isn't pretty. Because they lie a lot. Which is sad. You had a lot of questions that only spirit answered. You got a lot of your answers and closure by being out of this person's energy and away from them. Some of you had to literally move out or they had to move out and away. So you can go to spirit, go to God, go to your angels and they sent people to call you to tell you things. You found certain emails or certain information. You re-thought about some of the things that happened. Because you may have thought differently that, oh, well, this happened because of this. Or this happened because of that. Or that's what they wanted you to believe. They were very manipulative. Because they wanted you off their tail and off their trail. God rerouted you back to go think about certain things that they did when they were missing. When things were odd and didn't stand out or the answers they gave were very vague and bland. When it seemed odd. Because this person, they make it look good. 
but not good enough because you found them out and they know you look at them differently. Some of you have a hard time even looking at them at all. And look here. <laughs> Ghosts get ghosted. Like I said, you left them in a bigger way. Even if they walked out first, even if they thought that they were running game and with this one and that one and, and these people's sheets and over here, and they, they don't know how much you really found out about them. Because God was sending little birdies. Some of their family members told you about them on the low. Some of their friends told you about them because they slipped. Some of them told you about them by what they didn't say, by what they didn't do, by how they carried themselves when you broke up and separated. The trash they brought home to their family. Oh, yeah. They downgraded. They can't even find half of you in somebody else. This person has a lot of lessons to learn. They could use a communication course. And a lot of you deserve a certain conversation. You deserve to hear accountability. But I hope that you guys are okay with not getting that because this person is so immature. It may have taken years for some of you guys to get an apology, some of you guys still haven't got that. Be okay with that. Because your success, your happiness, your willpower, your strength, your courage, everything that you are is enough. Don't let that cloud hang over your head about what you don't know. What's meant to come out will come out. Because this person will never tell you it all. I just don't, I don't believe that. Nowhere near time. They're not there yet. The immaturity is heavy. They're very selfish. They hid a lot. They had a lot of secrets. Deep ones. And a lot of you guys can still feel there's something here that's big. That would change how their job view them, how their family views them. How their kids view them, which is exceedingly sad. I believe it's going to come to light. It's up to God. If and when that happens. But I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to come to light in the right time. Don't stop living. Don't stop growing. Don't let it hinder you to look for it. And don't let it drive you crazy. Give yourself the closure you guys need. And I actually did a life coaching session on closure. If you guys need it. Email me and I'll send it to you. Give yourself the closure because oftentimes it's what people don't say. Oftentimes that closure is how they handle things with you. You got to see this person with different eyes. They know it. They know you don't look at them the same. You don't buy things for them like you used to. You don't, if at all, you don't do for this person. And the sad part is you love this person for real. For a lot of you, this was a romantic interest. Some of you, this was family or both, but you gave your all to a lot of people and they are heavily missing your presence, whether they say it or not. I just feel like they don't deserve you. I don't see enough change. I'm not seeing the growth. I'm not feeling it. And if for some of you, it's been years, you still don't see the growth by the company they keep, by their movements. They're still doing the same thing except worse and faster. I'm here in lane. You guys look at this person. It's very lame. Wow. Okay, Leo's. Wow, that was a lot of energy. Let's get some affirmations, self-love, and self-care messages. And I also made this deck as well. So affirmations is about encouraging yourself to be at your best. And self-love is about like remembering that you're important, okay? And just continue to build your confidence, build your self-esteem, okay? Stay in that energy. And then self-care is about more actions, pretty much like self-love, but more actions, just showing yourself your worth. You guys have very high value, very high worth. Just show yourself some love and care. All right, let's see. Spirit, please come through as you always do. This is for Leos. This is what you guys need to know. These are the affirmations, if any of them come out, affirmations of what you guys need to say to yourself. 
that will help build your courage and self-esteem and make you feel awesome and amazing because you guys truly are. Let's see. For Leo. For Leo. I got him flying ever. The whole block just dropped out. Okay, let's see if I can get five more. Okay, I'll take those. All right, at the bottom of the deck, you guys have make great decisions and get the job done. This is self-love. Yeah, just keep making really good decisions for your life. Get things done. Get things accomplished. You're going to feel amazing and great. You know, Beyonce said it. She said it best. You know, the best revenge is your paper. Okay. Get your money. Stay in the spirit of being blessed. Stay focused on your happiness and what you need to do, what you need to accomplish. All right, let me organize them by color. I'm so glad I did them by color. Okay. Because now I can categorize them. All right, so for self-love, you guys have live to get it right with God. Keep going God's way. Anybody who's not on this level, not in this energy, forget you know them. Saving good money. Saving Good money management. This is self-care. Manage your money wisely. Spend wisely. Make good investments and good decisions with your money. It will come back to you. So all of these are self-care. Acknowledge your true feelings. Be honest with yourself about how you're feeling. Invest in self-improvement practices. You guys may want to look some of those up. To always be at your best. Leos, pray for yourself. Go to God for everything. Stay spiritual. Don't let anybody take you from that. And, you know, your person and people who've wronged you and mistreated you and betrayed you, they, a lot of them pretend to be religious and spiritual. You are the real deal. That's why they couldn't continue on with you. Spirit had to remove them because they don't deserve your love and light and your energy, nor your blessings. Continue to work hard, work smart, and manifest your goals. Your dreams will come true, Leos. The affirmations you guys should say in the mirror include the following. I know how to refocus and redirect my energy and attention. Yep. Anytime people come for you, turn your pain into power. Get something accomplished. Keep yourself at peace. Breathe. Refocus yourself. Don't let anybody pull you away from a winning spirit. Don't let anybody pull you away from accomplishing a goal or getting something done or elevating in life. I love myself unconditionally. Absolutely. Never stop. Never stop loving yourself. Some of you loved other people over yourself. And that's not healthy. But you've learned this. I have the courage to set boundaries and stand by them. Absolutely. And people who have really done you bad and dirty, they've definitely taught you to go back to your boundaries and stand exceedingly firm on them. No matter what. If people can't attain that, they're not meant to walk by your side. They're not meant to be with you. Your boundaries help you command the respect that you deserve. The people that these people gravitate and deal with, they don't have a lot of morals and values. They don't have boundaries. Anything goes and everything goes. And eventually the relationship goes. You're here to elevate, to fly, to soar. Not to fall. And last affirmation you guys have, I am going to have a good life starting now. Make it a priority to always enjoy your life, to be happy, to be at peace, more gifts, presents, paradise, happiness will come. Okay, Leos, my lovely, wonderful Leos, this has been your reading in regards to lessons your person needs to learn and some self-love, self-care and affirmations for you guys. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I hope you guys like the reading. You guys are so amazing. I hope you guys all have a very happy and Merry Christmas. Thank you guys so much for always watching. Much love and light, joy, happiness, peace, luck, abundance, wonderful things always for you, wonderful Leos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, Leo.